Hello everybody, my name is Alpha Mega Zulu, and welcome back to Skyrim VR. Now, in this video, we need to talk to Parthenax. So, without further ado, let's go, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And, in the last video, we managed to get ourselves an Elder Scroll, of all things. Oh, hey Parthenax, how's it going? So yeah, we got ourselves an Elder Scroll, and we need to go back in time to figure out the Dragon Rin Shout. So... Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. Hey, Parthenax. How's it going, buddy? You hey. Have it. The Kel. The Elder Scroll. Tidkrech. Kalos. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question. You are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh. The very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny. Take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay. Alduin will be coming. He cannot miss the signs. Alduin is coming? Here? Now? Uh, well, okay. Oh shit, what the hell is all this? Okay, well, here, I'll bring out my torch. Alright, let's open this bad boy. Auto-saving scrolls, it's gotta be my scrolls. Hey, there's my spider scrolls. Uh, what? Where is it? Should be in my scrolls, right? Okay, so if it's not in scrolls, is it in books? You would think it would be in scrolls. Just saying. Elder Scroll. Drag the Dragon Elder Scroll. Yeah, you would think this would be in like uh the scrolls section of my inventory, but no. Alright, it's in books, fine. Let's open this bad boy up. Whoa. Oh dear, oh my gosh. Rip. Oops, I tore it. Whoa. Whoa. Alduin! Parthenax? Today, Alduin's lordship will be restored. But I honor your courage. Kreef Wolf Akrin, die now in vain. Hey, Khan! A glorious day, is it not? Have you no thought beyond the blooding of your blade? <laughs> what else is there? Battle below goes ill. If Alduin does not rise to our challenge, I fear all may be lost. You worry too much, brother. Victory will be ours! Why does Alduin hang back? We've staked everything on this plan of yours, old man. He will come. He cannot ignore our defiance. And why should he fear us even now? Blooded him well. More of his kin have fallen to my blade alone. None have yet stood against Alduin himself. Golfo, Sori, Birka. They did not have Dragonrend. Once we bring him down, I promise, I will have his blood. You do not understand. Alduin cannot be slain like a lesser dragon. He is beyond our strength. Which is why. I brought the Elder Scroll. Feldir, we agreed not to use it. I never agreed. And if you are right, I will not no, need it. we will deal with Alduin ourselves. Here and now. We shall see soon enough. Alduin approaches. There he is. That's the real Alduin. Me. Tarmudis. Ah, me. Him hind palive. 
Let those that watch from Savengard envy us this day. to make this contract heard. Be gone, World Eater. My words with older bones than your own. We break your perch on this age and send you out. You are banished. Oh. We help you out from all our endings oh. unto the last. Did it? Yes. The World Eater is gone. May the spirits have mercy on our souls. Whoa. Oh. I could barely hear Alduin with that sound effect. Shit, where am I now? Oh, I'm back. Alduin! Fellow mortals, Dovahkiin. Die now and await your fate in Southern God. You oh, you want to test your metal against me right now? Sure thing, let's do this. It's about damn time we fought him. Here we go. Joaquin, you let's. If you know it. Sure thing. Okay, it's time to use Dragon Ren. Let's see. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mark for death. Dragon Ren should be in the D's. Let's see. Here he is. Here it is. Favorite that. Activate that. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Take that. And that. And some of that. And a little of that. And some of these. And a little of those. Yeah, yeah. Right for the jugular. Yeah, yeah. Bring him to gold. You may have picked up the weapons of my ancient foes. He must be gone now. Man off. Must be gone. How do you like that? Stop saying he ran away, Serena. I cannot be slain here by you or anyone else. Why? I can't kill him? I will outlast you, mortal. Well, sucks for us. That means we can't kill him through normal means. Well, how do we kill him then, Parthenax? Lot Congrach, 
You truly have the voice of a Dova. Alduin's allies will be... What just happened there? Parthenax, where are you? Just, uh... Parthenax? What the fuck? Where'd you go? Lot Kongrach. You truly have the voice of a Dova. Fuck me. Alduin's allies will think twice after this victory. Yeah, well, wasn't really a victory since Alduin escaped. Ni livrach hin moro. True, this is not the final Krongra victory, but not even the heroes of old were able to defeat Alduin in open battle. Alduin always was Pachlok, arrogant in his power. Usnagar Par, he took domination as his birthright. This should shake the loyalty of the Dove who serve him. Well, I mean, we're not exactly the heroes of old, but uh, I think I think I think we're pretty good. I think we're pretty great. I need to find out where Alduin went. Yes, one of his allies could tell us, Mat Mahus, but it will not be so easy to convince one of them to betray him. Perhaps the half Kossayun, the palace in Whiterun, Dragon's Reach. It was originally built to house a captive Dova. A fine place to trap one of Alduin's allies, hmm? Uh, yes. A building made of wood sounds like a great place to... <laughs> to entrap a fire-breathing dragon. The Jarl of Whiterun might not think so. Hmm. Yes, but your Soom is strong. I do not doubt that you can convince him of the need. Okay, Dragon's Reach was built to hold a dragon? Yes, this was ages ago, you understand. There were more of us then. Before the Bruniki, the Akaviri came and killed all my Zema. I used to visit him from time to time, nearly crazed by loneliness and captivity. Tiraz Sivaz. He did not even remember his own name. I do not know how he came to be caught, but the Bronyun, the Jarl, was very proud of his pet. Pa. The Hofkasayun has been known as Dragon's Reach ever since. Alright. Sum Ark Mora. Alright, gang. We got a mission. Let's head off to Dragon's Reach. Let's see here. Dragon's Reach right there. Yeah. Let's go. Nice. So we got a mission. We got to capture a dragon. That sounds like that'll be a piece of cake. Yep. Doesn't sound like that'd be difficult. At all. Not at all. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Probably. Probably not. Alright. Well. Any day now. Loading screen. Any day now. Any day now. Okay. Let's see where's wait, where's A oh there she is. Okay. Alright, let's go. Another loading screen. Awesome. Yep. That's Bethesda. It's Bethesda for you. Hello, Garl. Oh hey. Nice sword. Who left this here? I wonder. Oh, sorry. 
May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Hey, uh, hey, I need your help. Uh, Jarl, I need your help. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. I know, I know, it's not, doesn't sound too impressive, but I kind of need you for that. Uh, I must have misheard you. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Yeah, you, you see, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, right? I'm sorry, but I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. Yeah, I need your help, dude. I need to trap a dragon in your palace. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? Yeah. It's the only way to stop the dragon attacks. There must be another way. The risk is too great. The threat is worse than you know. Alduin has returned. Alduin. The world eater himself. But how can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? Well, only if I don't stop him. Uh, it's only hopeless if we give up. I didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about trapping a dragon in my palace? You see, it's the only way to find Alduin before it's too late. I want to help you, Dragonborn. And I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while a dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. Okay, well what if you didn't have to worry about an enemy attack? Then, I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon-trapping scheme, but getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. Hmm. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. So leave it... Uh, okay, well, leave that to me. I'll talk to Agnar, or uh, Agnir, about hosting a peace council. Hi, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Killing two birds with one stone sounds good. Are you ready to spring a trap? No. Dragon Reach was built to hold a dragon? According to legend... Although I never thought to put the tale to the test. Jarl Olaf One-Eye it was, who later became High King. They say he shouted it into submission in single combat atop Mount Anthor, and brought it back to Whiterun. Numenex was the dragon's name. That's his skull decorating the main hall. Right there. All right, well, whose side are you on? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. Well, why do you think Ulfric killed the High King? No doubt, he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also, because he knew he could. How can you protect Whiterun from the dragons? With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Cool. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. I am your sword and your shield. Oh, hi, Lydia. I was looking for Lydia 
before, but... Don't do dragon. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me? I prefer my books and my staff. Hey, kid. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Well, hi to you too, kid. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Good work, kid. Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. All right. Uh, let's. Ooh, what's this? What's down here? It's just, just dungeon. The hell is with this door? That door is pretty creepy. Okay, we're here. So now we need to talk to one of the graybeards. Uh, Argnir, where are you? There you are. Hey, buddy. Aldwin? We heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Well, yeah, we beat his ass, but he escaped. I need to find the port of the Sovngarde. I feared as much. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. All right, well, I need your help. I need to capture a dragon. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the Way of the Voice. I'll worry about capturing the dragon. I need your help to stop the war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. No, no, no. You won't... You wait. You won't help me while the rage... While the war rages. Y'all, Bargruff won't help me while the war rages, if I can just speak for a second. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Partanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Are you ready with the Peace Council? Deliver the message to the warring parties. If they will listen, I will do what I can to bring them to terms. Where has Alduin gone? The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this before he regains his strength and returns. Okay. Wind guide you. Wind guide you, sir. Okay, so now we gotta meet with uh, General what, Talius? Uh, did, didn't we kill General Talius? As... No, maybe that was a different general. Whatever. We met Ulfric. So, uh, he might be easier to convince because he's a... He once was a Greybeard, too. Or he trained under the Greybeard, so... <coughs> he, he'll definitely be easier to convince. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, we, we came to this city once also. We solved that murder. So they owe us one. Hopefully. <sighs> what the? What was that? Dragons! I've been looking for you. What the? Got something I'm uh, supposed to deliver. You're dude! Only. Let's see here. Got this one. The dark elf around Raven Rock. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks Thank like you. It. Got to go. Thank you, I guess. Ah. Where's that damn dragon? There he is. I need to take it out. Alright. Drop down, bitch! Ah. Come off it! Are you serious? Okay, where's Dragon Rip? 
Yeah, I've got that equipped. All right, next time it stops moving, I'm gonna hit it. It's taking out the city! Come on, stay still for a second! Ugh. Where is he? There he is. Come on, come here. Oh, that's a cheap shot there. I can't hit him. Come on. That was cheap. Oh, well, hello there. Gotcha. Frost dragon, huh? Good work, party. Oh man, look at all these books just all over the place. Who would leave books just all over the place? It's so weird. It's so crazy. These people are a mess. Yeah, that's right. I'm cool. Out of the way. Out of the way! It may be dead now, but where did hey, it Hey, watch it! Alright, let's talk to Ulfric. I just saved your city, Ulfric. I hope you're grateful. Somewhat. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Sonatu. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. Hey guys! You have me do. If he's not with us, he's against us. Yeah, that's a that's a real good way to look at the world. Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. Bitch, I don't work for you. I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turned their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want to negotiate a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. I have the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the Dragon Attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. Politics be damned, Alduin has returned. Alduin, the world eater of song and legend. If that's yeah. True, well, it changes the situation, doesn't it? Even Tullius may be forced to talk sense in the face of such a threat. So you'll come to the Peace Council, right? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. We got to, man. We're <laughs> We're talking about ta uh, fucking the world eater here. I'm not much of a strategist, but Lord Ulfric listens to my counsel all the same. Okay. I could have swore there was another additional part of the quest, the you investigation quest. Boop! Eh, I just touch a dragon dick. What? Why am I so childish? Hey, what's up? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Why? Why did I just do that? Oh, yeah. That reminds me. Let's go get this object. Um. That I was talking about in the last episode. We have to go to uh, Solstheim and pick this thing up. Because we gave that guy a thousand gold points. Gold coins, whatever. So, yeah, he should be good now. He probably dug it all up. 
Yep, there it is. Yep, there's a lot of loading screens in this game. A lot of loading screens in this game. So many. It's just so many. But, what can you do? There's not much you can really do about it. Where are we? What? What? Oh, I must have... I'm stupid. I must have accidentally clicked on uh, the wrong thing. It's above this thing. I'm so disappointed we can't go to that mountain. Or volcano, my bad. Red Mountain, I think it's called. But yeah, I'm very disappointed that we can't do that. That'd be really cool. Aha, here we are. Looks like he did get some, uh, company. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. You gonna talk that way about your sponsor? Or the person who paid for all this? What's going on? This isn't good. We only got a little ways in when something managed to wake up the Draugr. Before I could blink, all the miners were dead, and I was next in line. Don't think anyone else made it out alive. This is what I get for skimping on labor. Well, what now? Well, unless you want to deal with the Draugr, this whole little venture of ours is over. Might be over either way. It looked like a dead end before the place started crawling. We could have missed something, though. I don't know. Well, let me deal with them. What is this? Uh... Let me deal with the Draugr. Like always. Everyone's dead already? Are you kidding? What the hell, man? How's everyone dead? It's just stupid Draugr. They're really not that tough. Like, I can just knock one over with my hand. But then again, I am the motherfucking Dragonborn. You... Not... Okay, I just- I make it look easy, I'll admit that. Now, what am I looking for here? Okay. There we go. Let's try that. No. Oh, these are the miners. This doesn't look like a dead end at all. Oh, wrong shout. of water walking hmm I wonder if these are pretty fucking cool to use oh hey hi miner this is the thing I was looking for uh, yeah what those 
the hell is this? Drop that. I don't need that. Oh, am I still wearing the chef's hat? Oh. No. Get rid of that. Okay. Um. Where's my real outfit? Yes. Equip that. I'm still over weight. Great. Yeah. We're fine. Everything's fine now. And I got these boots of water walking. But uh, I'm not going to spoil what they do, guys, in case you don't know. But I, I've got a feeling that the name should give it away. Yep. That was definitely not a dead end. There's some really cool shit in there. Any luck? Uh, I dealt with the Draugr and found a way past the dead end. Well, perhaps there's some hope for us yet. Now... I have to go recruit some more miners. It won't be easy seeing as none of their friends came back from the first attempt. We'll have to sweeten the pot a bit this time. I think I'll need, say, 2,000 septums to hire replacements. Sure, whatever. I never get tired of that sound. It'll take me a few days to dig up some more laborers, but swing back when you get a chance. See how we're doing. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. That This is all I really wanted from him. So let's head back to Skyrim. And then we gotta talk to General Talius. Let's see, what time are we on? Yeah. Alright, we're actually doing good on time. We need to talk to General Talius and convince him to join the peace console and then that would be pretty much it I don't know how we're gonna convince him but we're gonna do it somehow man these loading screens take forever sometimes Okay, let's go. General Talis should be here at the Blue Palace. Shit. Shit, are the guards going to try and attack me? Oh, fuck me. I think they will. Crap! Um, maybe they won't. Maybe? Eh? Hopefully not. Think they will though. Man. Okay. Let's try sneaking around this city. Avoid all guards except for. <laughs> well, it's gonna be kind of hard to do if we're gonna talk to. Oh, sheesh. Oh. Duh. Uh, guards are after me. Okay, excuse me, kid. Fuck. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Uh. You caught me. Take me to jail. No. Smart man. Now, Fuck. come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Fuck. Ugh. Do that again. Let's do it again. I don't know if I have anything that'll make me, um, invisible, but I might have something. <laughs> I can't go to jail. I can't lose all my shit. Hide my face. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna head high talent in here. Oh, please don't tell me they're all gonna attack me. 
Oh, hey, hey! Okay, so I have no choice. <sighs> Take that. You might as well have that. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Alright, let's go find a guard. Or sneak up, you know. If we can do it, might as well. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? <clears throat> no, you caught me. I'll pay my bounty. Smart man. Ugh. Bullshit. What? What am I doing here? Okay. Give me... Give me my thing back. Dark Brotherhood. Nothing we could do. Yeah, uh, it's real crazy, right? How your emperor died? Real insane. Uh, that was crazy. Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. General Talius. got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use I them. remember you. You were at Helgen. Speak to Legged Ricka. I suspect we could use someone like you. You recognize me? After all this time? That's not why I'm here, dude. I see. Then there's nothing further to discuss. If you change your mind, speak with the legate. Uh, incorrect, sir. How goes the war? We will oust Alfred from Windhelm soon enough. And when we do, I'll have his head on a plate. Why do you got a skull right there? What is with people and putting skulls everywhere? I mean, they're cool, but it's like... Doesn't that seem a little unsanitary? What will it take to end the war? Ulfric Stormcloak's head rolling away from his lifeless body. That's... Pretty direct. Alright, um, what's the Imperial Legion doing in Skyrim? The Legion's always been here. Without us to keep order, the provinces would fall into barbarism and lawlessness. Especially Skyrim. Take, for example, Ulfric Stormcloak and his little rebellion. But rest assured, his days are numbered. Alright. Have you always lived in Skyrim? I'm originally from Cyrodiil, sent here at the request of the Emperor himself. I'm often ordered to places with problems that need fixing. Now, while I'm certain this is all terribly <laughs> interesting to you, I have important matters to attend to. I'm telling you. Speak with Legate Ricca. She will determine if you are legion material. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. Watch That's yourself. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Baldur. Something to report? Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. You sound like a dick. Hey, uh, I have a message from the Greybeards. That's why I was originally here. The Greybeards? What do those old hermits want with me? They're conveying a peace council at High Hrothgar. Why, there's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. Uh, we need a truce until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. They are getting to be a problem, but I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that, dragons or no dragons. 
Yeah, see, the dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. Yeah, and the, <laughs> the best time to negotiate is from a position of strength. Fair enough. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment, but we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Why won't the Emperor send more reinforcements? Most of the Legion is tied down on the border with the Aldmeri Dominion. The Emperor can't afford to risk weakening Cyrodiil's defenses. From the Imperial City, our war here is just a sideshow. An interlude before the main event against the Thalmor resumes. So, you'll come to the Peace Council then? Yes, yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. Perfect. So, hey, who are you? Talking peace with Ulfric? <laughs> you must be an optimist. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm an optimist. Mind yourself in my city, friend. Uh, uh, I've got wires wrapped around my leg. All right. Well, yes? at least I didn't take my crossbow. That would have really pissed me off. All right, let's head out. We gotta go to High Hrothgar. And we gotta do this peace council. All right, so we're, we're, we're reaching near the end of this game. Finally, after all this time, we might actually beat this game by some point. Not that I want it to end, by any means. I wish they would allow for, like, mods on the VR version of this game. That'd be great. There's a lot of cool quest mods I've seen. Alright, here we are. So, guys, are you ready? Ready to have fun? You ready to have fun with politics? I know I am. You've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Yeah, don't worry. I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They're not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Thank you. steel bolt I guess so um arn gear is it you know why we're here are you going to let us in or not you are not invited here you're not welcome here we have as much right to be at this council as all of you more actually since we were the ones that put the dragonborn on this path where are you hubris of the blades truly knows no bounds Delphine, we're not here to rehearse old grudges. The matter at hand is urgent. Aldwin must be stopped. You wouldn't have called this council if you didn't agree. We know a great deal about the situation and the threat that Aldwin poses to us all. You need us here if you want this council to succeed. Uh, very well. You may enter. Delphine? 
Esburn? What are we waiting for? What the hell? What are you guys doing here? How did you know how did you guys know about this peace console? Wow, okay, we got a lot of people coming in here. I was not expecting there to be this many people. And there's even more people! Alright guys, line up at my um round table because of course I got my own round table. I am the dragonborn after all. These chairs do not look comfortable. They're just rocks. They're just stones. Everyone, take your seats. Glug, 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 glug. Well? Now that everyone is here, please take your seats so we can begin. I hope that we have all come no. here in the spirit you of- you insult us by bringing her to this negotiation? Your chief Talos hunter? That didn't take long. Diplomatic. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please, if we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that. Thou more bitch, either she walks or I do. Fuck you, dude. You need to calm yourself. Also, Norman, could you shut the hell up? What's the harm? Besides, Talius doesn't really want her around either. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Let Talius have his way on this. He'll have to give, uh, give ground later. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Elfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your fathers and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? I have something to say first. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't We're be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. Do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markar. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Jarl Elisif. General, I'll this is outrageous. This. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif, I said I'd handle it. Elfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. I want in return. Wait. General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? 
This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. I would like Norman to shut the hell up! Could ya? Could ya zip it? Could you zip it, Norman? I'm trying to listen. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, um... How about Riften? Winterhold seems like a fair trade. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim silver. Hardly. Riften seems like a better choice to me. Uh, that's what I meant to say. Easily resupplied from across Lake Honrick, plus <clears throat> all the mead we can drink. Uh, y yes, y yes, you're right. Riften is a fair trade for Markarth. <clears throat> yeah. I'm glad you agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. Have you heard the man, Ulfric? We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to the Thalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Garmar. No! I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with that? If he's right about Alvin, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Hjall March to us, and take Idgrod Ravencrone with you. Sorely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What say you, Dragonborn? Uh, I agree. The Empire should turn over Halmark. Yeah. What, however you pronounce that. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorley the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. You both agree to this? The Sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Elisif? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up! I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. I have nothing to say to that murderer. 
General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Come on, Dalmai. Oh. Giving up Markarth is a heavy price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. Jarl Balgruf, I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes. I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Ah, I believe I can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the Blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Oh, and how does that help? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. So why would he come to when he's called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. So what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Od Avin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. As soon as I get back to White Run, I'll get my men ready. Got it. These terms are satisfactory to my government. There's one more thing. We know about Parthenon. Okay, you know what? Turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. I, I, what? Parthenax. The dragon that the Greybeards have been protecting for all these years. He needs to die. He deserves <laughs> to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septum. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. What is with everyone and being like that? You're either with us or against us. Maybe I don't want to be either. Okay, why does he need to die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end. But that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Uh, yeah, no. I'm sorry, Delphine. Love ya, but that ain't happening. I'm not killing Parthenax. Fuck that. Parthy is best waifu. As we all know. Best girl. Best girl. Look at all these people here. <laughs> Where are you people? If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Yes? I want to talk to you. The Empire, in its wisdom, 
has come to recognize Talos worship as a barbaric remnant of a bygone age. Talos was a heroic man, but not a god. Okay, so she, uh, she definitely doesn't, uh, recognize me, I guess. Which is weird, you would think she would. I would think she would. So, what time are we on? Alright. So. Shit, this is actually the, uh, final level. Okay. I want to go to Dragon's Reach. But, uh... Yeah, what we do here... Is pretty much the end of the game. Or, well... Not really, but... If we... If I were to hurry up, I could end this game in the next episode. But that's not gonna happen. Uh, this is pretty much it for this episode, guys. I just want to do... Want to check a few things first. Oh, yeah, I should probably head to Riften, but not not right now. So yeah, let's see here. All right, you know, you know what, guys, this looks like a good place to end it. Uh, in the next episode, uh, we're not going to follow this up with the dragon the thing. How long can such a thing last? Ugh. So, yeah. So, we're not going to follow this up with capturing the dragon. No, we're going to save that for a little bit later. We got other things. We got, like, one or two more things I want to do before we get into that. So, for right now, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, make sure to like down below and subscribe for awesome videos. And I will definitely continue this in the next video. And until then, see ya.